NFL Blitz is back. The classic arcade hit is out for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, featuring 7-on-7 seven seven gameplay, over-the-top graphics, big hits, ridiculous plays, and a number of new modes designed to give the game a fresh new feel. But does the game stay true to its roots and provide enough new content to make it worthy for gamers to fork down $15? Well, although NFL Blitz offers the same fun-filled gameplay from the original title, there are some issues that prevent it from being Super Bowl bound. If you played the old NFL Blitz, you'll have no problem playing the new version. If this is your first time, don't worry, as controls are as simple as it gets. On offense, throws are done by looking at the appropriate receiver and throwing it to him using a face button. If you prefer mapping the receivers to an individual button, you have that option as well. Spins are done with the triggers, which are also the turbo buttons. Jukes are performed with the shoulder buttons, while stiff arms and dives are designated to the face buttons. On defense, it's all about knocking down receivers with the push button and tackling them with the Y or triangle button. It'll take a minute to get used to the controls, especially if you are accustomed to the Madden control scheme, but after a few plays, it'll be as easy as a Tim Tebow trot into the end zone. Although not as fast as past Blitz titles, gameplay moves at a rapid pace. Running at 60 frames per second, NFL Blitz runs as smooth as butter. You'll see a wide variety of throws, dives, catches, and hits that'll make your jaw drop. However, there are a few glaring omissions in NFL Blitz that some of the other online reviews fail to mention. The late hits that were a joy to perform in old Blitz titles can't be done in this game, and you'll also notice that left-handed quarterbacks in the game throw with their right hand. Rosters are also severely outdated, as you'll see players like Lance Moore, Chad Ochocinco, Danny Woodhead, and Noshan Moreno, instead of Jimmy Graham, Gronk, Hernandez, and McGahee, all of who are more deserving to be in the game. Not having them in Blitz is inexcusable. The playbooks in NFL Blitz are pretty much the same as you've seen in the original version of the game. Familiar plays like the bomb are included, as well as one team-specific play per squad. Don't expect complicated play calls here, as the most complicated play you'll find is a wide receiver or running back pass. NFL Blitz wouldn't be complete without the infamous Tim Kitzrow, so it's only fitting to have him back for the remake. Kitzrow and his partner Brian Haley make up the broadcast team for the game, and for the most part do a pretty good job, as you'll hear a number of funny comments said throughout each game. Sundays and football go together like chocolate milk and maple bars. They'll make that tackle right around the 26. In addition, the infamous cheat codes are back, and unlocking them during the loading screen will produce some interesting results. Everything else presentation-wise is pretty basic. Menus and stat overlays are slick and look nice. Gamers are treated to short pre-game cutscenes before every game, and stats are provided during halftime and post-game. Every stadium is represented in the game as well, but aren't very detailed in comparison to other football titles. Weather conditions are also lacking, as you won't find rain or snow in NFL Blitz. EA Sports was successful in creating a visually pleasing updated version of NFL Blitz. Player models are exaggerated like the original version and look great. You'll also see a wide variety of over-the-top animations the Blitz series has been known for. Players will leap out of nowhere to make a spectacular catch, truck people on their way to the end zone, stiff-arm the competition aggressively, and slam opponents into the ground WWE style. It's fun to see and even better to do. EA Sports makes a worthy effort to make NFL Blitz worth the $15 price tag for the game's new modes, but it's a bit of a mixed bag. Blitz Battles, which is the game's main online mode, is done well. Moving up the battle boards with each win and earning Blitz Bucks to unlock items is cool, but most of the items aren't worth buying. Online co-op is also extremely fun, but I experienced some lag in certain matchups. Blitz Gauntlet is a ladder style tournament where you pick and customize a team, go through a gauntlet of opponents, and unlock random bosses, which include zombies and hot dogs. It's a good idea, but I wasn't motivated to play through the mode to unlock fictional characters I don't really care about. Unlocking legendary NFL teams and players would have been a better idea. At its core, NFL Blitz is a faithful representation of its arcade predecessor. With simple controls, huge hits, over-the-top catches, and high-scoring affairs, NFL Blitz is a blast to play. However, it's hard to get past the lack of polish in several areas of the game. 
Outdated rosters, left-handed quarterbacks throwing right-handed, and lack of late hits can't be ignored, no matter the price tag. Well, that's it for this episode of Sports Gamer Show. If you want more content, go to the website at www.sportsgamershow.com. Make sure to like the Sports Gamer Show Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Gamer Show. And go ahead and add me on Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network. I'm Rio Pacino, and I'll see you next time.